Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So it is that time once again. Here we gather to build the Wanderer Barn. So let's get started here. We need to go into structures. I'm going to put this right in the beginning of the video if you don't like watching building. I don't think I've ever heard someone get upset by or seen a comment saying they hate uh, seeing me do building stuff, but you, you never know. They're probably out there. Now, if we want to do this proper, we do have to get this lined up pretty much perfectly with the edge of this thing. And uh, it looks it's I'm going to have to probably move it some more, but it will just go with that for now. Oh, and we can't have... Are they all the same way? Let's go, let's go this way. The line has to be lined up. I don't actually care that much, but I know there are some of you... Oh, that's the wrong way. The problem is I can't tell. There, uh... There we go. No. Yes. No. I know there are some of you that it will bother quite a bit if it's not lined up. Okay, does that look good? Is this... Are we... Still lined up? I think we're okay here. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, we are a little bit over. Okay, that's fine. I'll look at it from this angle. Literally every time it's going the wrong way. Ah, oh, well. Let's, um, let's try it from here. I can actually see what I'm doing here. The shadows were kind of deep over on the other side, and I couldn't really tell if I was properly lined up. Still not white. Do that. Oh, that. Just a smidge. That is, I think, about as good as I've ever done. Yes, lined up very nice. Okay. Now we can really start. So we're going to be doing uh, a doorway here. Try to go through this kind of quickly. So no, not all of you probably want to be watching this or, you know... I want to get into the action. I haven't done a whole lot so far. I don't know. I've, 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 episode 1 was... Usually I get further in Episode 1 than I did, I guess. Let's put it that way. We want some windows here. Now here's where... Yeah, we're going to run short on glass. And uh, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm just building with this. It's just for cosmetics. So I really, don't, I really could care less about game balance and stuff. So, help me game what is glass as far as uh, components go. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here that I didn't realize would be in here. Uh, glass, 25 units. Okay. That is player.add item uh, 2E123. Oops. B. I've lost it. Uh, 2E. And we'll just do three of those. Now we got glass. Got glass for ages. Okay. If it becomes like a balance issue to where like, oh, I actually need... Glass is actually a precious resource. Then uh, I will maybe subtract some. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to have some damn windows on my house, you know? Don't Don't make it... Don't make it, like, you know, so hard like that horizon that I can't have a couple damn windows. These are going to be backwards. Oh, crap. Like every time, aren't they? There we go. Okay. And then we need more up here. Okay, and is that good? In one of the more, I think it was an X-Files episode, one of the more wild X-Files episode, Mulder and, maybe this was not X-Files though, I don't know. I, I don't remember much about it except for the uh, the storyline. The reason I remember the storyline is because, uh, well, it was a unique storyline. Um, 
but I believe Mulder and Scully, or whatever agents there were, were sent out to investigate some barn burnings in Amish country. And the cause of the barn burnings, I believe, was the son of a man who was shunned, an Amish man who was shunned from the Amish community. You don't know what shunning is, it's because you, you get shunned by all your friends and relatives and they will not interact with you at all uh, because you have done something extremely bad, right? Um, you're basically cut off from all your family. The church excommunicates you, basically. And the cause was that he... Um, he had built a barn that had, like, some lights in the upper areas, like up here. Not lights, but they, it was like some skylights, basically, that let let light in. And uh, he said it's, it's to let the light in for... It's to let God's light in for all the beautiful animals. And uh, for that, they excommunicate him. Which seems very silly, but I guess Amish have very... Or at least some orders of Amish have very strict rules about... What can and cannot be done in terms of building your barn. And if you don't build your barn to their code, then you could be excommunicated. Maybe. I don't know if that's true or not. It might be BS. I don't... It seems a bit harsh. Even for, like, Old Order Amish. Seems a bit harsh to me, but you never know. I don't know what their strict culture is as far as that goes. Anyway, every time I, I'm making my barn, I think about that episode because I'm putting in my windows to let the beautiful light in. That's that's my story. I know it wasn't very good, I'm sorry. But I had to talk about something while I made this barn, you know? It's what came to mind. Okay, so we need... We're going to need a um, Horizon. Horizon has some really nice structural pieces here. Yeah, it has... Ooh, there's new stuff, too. Ooh, we've got fort fences. Oh, I like these a lot. Oh, I'm going to totally spend a stupid amount of time putting these around some of my settlements just for fun, even though they won't really be worth a damn to keep stuff out because, you know, the raiders will just spawn inside them and it won't even matter because, hooray for AI. I think there are mods to maybe change that, but that's really cool. I like those. There's the pier pieces. Yeah, but what I want are some stairs. Just some nice, good stairs. Let's put on the front here. And those match up. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're, they work. And then we're going to do some railings. Don't want to have any mishaps over here. Don't want to have OSHA on us, you know? Uh, where do I want to put these? Maybe, like, yeah, right here. There. And then, I suppose, here. I'm thinking about where the supports would need to go as well, because we are going to put supports in for this uh, porch. Otherwise, I mean, how would it stay up? It has to be immersive and realistic. And there we go. We got supports now. And yeah, it looks good. We got supports. We got railings. We got stairs. It is up to OSHA standards. And uh, I'm going to now... Okay, we're just going to turn off surface snapping so that these can snap in easier. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do every single one for these. Not under the stairs, though, because it'll look... It'll look weird if they're sticking out. If they're sticking up... Well, I guess they don't actually stick out. Maybe they won't stick out. I'll put them in if they're not gonna... Yeah, they're sticking out. We're not We're not doing that. That doesn't look good. That's not immersive. Uh, okay, get out of there for a second. Okay, there we go. Good to go. There's the front porch done. Go ahead and do a door. Want to make sure this opens the other way. Okay. There we go. I just know whichever way I do it is going to be the wrong way, the way I don't want... No, that's... that's No, that's actually wrong. 
That's actually wrong. Because I want to put stuff over there, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I I have a... Um, there's a new command station you can build early on that has all the stuff that you'll need. We're going to put in a roof uh, porch area out here as well. Because I think it looks so good. And the way, if you if you want to do this yourself, the way you would have to do this, if you want to get these to attach properly like that, you just have to pull out a wall, and then attach them to the wall, and then put your wall back, and then you're good. That's it. It's pretty easy. I like the barn set a lot because it just has some. The pieces just work together a lot better. It was it's a more well thought out set than uh, like the ramshackle shacks. Even though I like the look of the, the shacks a lot, because they're very... They look very crappy. And by crappy, I mean they look... They look very Fallout-like, you know? But, um... I think we just go right here for that. Yeah. This does stick out a little bit. Maybe I'll put one down here. No, not that. Um, just so that it's not sticking out so much. I kind of don't like how much it sticks out there, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't need railings out here. I mean, this is a small step down. I think we're good there. This is, this little spot here is going to be a little bit of a problem. Let's do a little step here. So our settlers can get up here if they need to. Just a little wooden one should do. Maybe two of them. Like... Well, does that work? No, it's not going to work very well. I don't really want it to snap, actually. No, don't snap. No. This is why I love Place Everything. It's such a good mod. It's got some keybinds where you can turn this stuff on or off as you would like. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So now we walk up. Can walk up. Oh, very nice. Nice and smooth. Okay, I like that. So, um, as for the actual Horizon stuff here, there's a new... In the utilities, there's a new command. Yes, a universal crafting station. Oh, I like this. This is, this is nice. Okay, let's turn objects and surface snapping back on. Uh, this does not have... Oh, it does. Workshop snap grid is turned on. Okay, cool. That's great, too. It, it lines this up, um, like, to be parallel or, like, you know, 45 or 90 degrees with other stuff. So I can line this up perfectly with uh, the wall here, which is what I want. Okay. Let's tuck it in over here. Okay. And can I use everything? Here's the experimentation lab. Let's go ahead and reverse engineer stuff. This is how we craft weapons in Horizon, by the way. And uh, we're going to go ahead and reverse engineer all weapons. That gives us experience. I think it's 25 every time we do that. It also gives us experience every time we reverse engineer... Or every time we, um, we scrap one in the field. But it doesn't... It doesn't come up until later on. So we have our experimentation station here. That's great. I can just select a workbench here. Um, this is armor... Select a workbench. Looking very carefully. Okay, here's our command table. So here's where we do our settler missions. Ah, uh, we can do mailbox here as well. Let's go ahead and open the mail to get the mail cycle started. Because we will get some free mail that should give us some free magazines in the next 24 hours once the new cycle comes about. So that's cool. Command mission menu. Eventually, we'll be going to command mission menu here to uh, send out our settlers on missions to find stuff for us, but we don't have any yet, so we'll be taking care of that soon. And, okay, that whole thing is a command table. Cool. This is probably, yeah, weapons workbench here. Okay, this looks like uh, chemistry. Can I select chemistry here? I don't know if I can actually, I don't know if all, okay, here's training, so I can actually, um, once I get to level 15 and 30, I'll have two specializations I can do based upon the perks that I choose, which will probably be like Cyborg Specialist from the Future Weapons perk, and other stuff as well. 
There's also a follower training menu here, which we uh, has been updated quite a bit in Horizon um, 1.9. So I'm eager to see what we have there. Um, I don't see any other things we can select directly here. But I think um, we just go to here and yeah, now we have... We can do our tech bench here, which is where we do all of our Horizon specific upgrades like to our workshop. Um, the tech level is going to be very, very important to get this up. In fact, this will probably be what drives what early game perks we take. Of course, we don't have any stuff for a lot of this stuff just yet. But like getting engineering to 20 um, so that we can do a tech level upgrade using engineering is going to be important for the first one. Because, you, you know, we're only going to have like 20 or 30 in these skills to begin with. Leadership is a really easy one because it only requires 20 nuclear material, but unfortunately it's difficult to get to 40 leadership if you don't have the um, uh, the perk uh, local leader, which we don't have access to because we don't have uh, high enough charisma, which is fine. We'll still we'll get by without it. Just take us a little bit longer to get to the higher levels. This one, uh, science is pretty easy. This is pretty reasonable. This is the same thing pretty much as the leadership one, except just science. So my one of my first points is probably going to go into science just so that I can get this going, but also because I want to upgrade the laser musket and be able to scrap those cryo cells um, pretty quickly. Okay, that's all good. We'll dive more into that stuff later on. Um, we have also our chem and medical station here so we can make our food... So we've got first aid kits. So this replaces... Okay, so yeah, so this this replaces completely the old um, small, medium, and or first aid kit bandage. Like, it replaces the old bandage system with first aid supplies. And it looks like it requires pretty much the same stuff um, as before. The main difference is that this one here that requires high medical is um, much, much more efficient to craft because it only requires three adhesive versus this one requiring... It requires three adhesive for 20 versus one adhesive for five. So you're getting basically one adhesive um, reduction in the cost once you get to 120 medical, which we'll want to do anyway uh, to get the technology level. So that's cool. Combat stim packs are still quite hard to craft. The blood pack clean, I think we have to get those from, maybe from our settlers? I'm not sure. Yes, blood extraction kicked. I, I, I think we get this from ourselves. We can actually craft these and, and we extract our own blood every hour. And then uh, that will give us clean blood to use in uh, crafting our combat stim packs. So we get to craft one every two hours. So. Rushing to medical 100 might be kind of key because we'll want to have that pretty quickly. All of this stuff looks pretty familiar. I do want to see... I do want to see um, which... In the tech and workshop here, I want to see what's required to craft a Wilson. A Wilson... Call, call Wilson. Summon Wilson thing. Okay, so we need four advanced circuit, or one advanced circuitry, some gold. The gold might be kind of difficult to come by. Maybe if I get the gold bar, we'll find enough down below. I haven't gotten that yet. A cargo bot, which we'll probably get down below, and a bunch of nuclear material. Okay, so our first 40 nuclear material is going to go towards our first, because we need a, a workshop technology upgrade as well. So... I need a workshop resource station as well. Rank one. What does that mean? It's not like an upgrade here, right? What is... I, that's a new requirement. I'm not exactly sure about that. Where is the resource station here? Okay, so I, I could make one of these. I just have to have a tech level increase. They're not terribly expensive anymore, which is good. They used to be very, very expensive and require a cargo bot. They seem to no longer require a cargo bot. Um, 
So is the resource station not part of this, I guess, then? It seems like it wouldn't be because it'd be rather redundant to have to build two, and that would be not very good. Yeah, the resource station is not part of this. Okay. That's fine. And we can also do... Oops. Uh, transfer. We can transfer our stuff here. So let's dump off the stuff. Uh, the cryolator we're going to put away for now. Um... I have no, no ammo for this, so we'll put that away. This does not... I can't tell if this actually gives me um, better vision or not. I, it's hard to tell. These we can put into the composting station eventually, but I don't have a composting station right now, so... We don't really ever use these. Just sell them probably to a vendor later on. Nope, I want that. My quick save. And uh, yeah, this is all this is all fine. We can leave the rest in here. Two purified water. Okay, we don't need any water just yet. Probably wait until the next day to worry about that stuff. To do any eating or drinking. Cryo cells are a bit heavy, so we'll put those away. I don't think we'll be using the fusion cells anytime soon. The 10 mil, the 38, and the, the 9 mil, though, we'll be using all those. That's fine. Okay. This is good for now, guys. I'm happy with this for now. Uh, I think that's everything we really need, which it's much more simplified now that you have that all-in-one command station. It tells you, like, everything you need to do, pretty much, except for the resource station, which you have to build separately. Uh, it seems... Much more streamlined. I'm going to go get dog meat real quick and loot this feller. Pipe rifle, lead pipe. Um, comes with the free tire iron over here as well. And we can harvest this guy. Mmm, smacking my meat. It's a wonderful sound, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I don't have any ammo for this, but... Um, okay. These are all about the same, huh? The baton is actually about the same. I believe that the melee weapons have gotten the pass to get a bit more optimized as far as dam- or a bit more uh, normalized as far as damage goes. Huh, this must be a- oh, and look, now whenever you walk up to a car and you don't have the salvaging skill to 120 yet, it does tell you that, hey, you can salvage this for parts if you get to salvaging 120. That's pretty sweet. We'll certainly want to do that later on. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Totally not a synth dog planted by Sean to follow okay, us. Then. Let's stick together. Definitely not the case at all. Okay, I am going to um, go through stuff and loot here, but I'm. Oh, uh, we need to. Well, I think first I want to just walk around until the uh, mole rats spawn and kill them real quick. We're going to be scrapping stuff here and taking everything back, well, most everything back to Sanctuary after I craft a couple of things. Darn it, mouse wheel, work with me. But, um, first we need to... This requires salvaging 80. This as well. First I want those... Gosh darn it, fine. I'll put... I'll lock my mouse wheel then. Um. Oh, what is this? Destroyed purification. Oh, I, I read about this. Right. There's a destroyed purification unit over here at Red Rocket. This water purification unit is damaged beyond repair. The purification module is missing, and finding a replacement module could be a difficult task. If you can find or make a purification module, you'd be able to construct a new water purification unit to produce purified water. So I can salvage this for parts. What does purifier scrap give us? Uh, some, some good basic stuff. Gears and basic circuitry are, are both good for crafting. Ah, uh, they're here. Ow!
A level two. You've reached level two. The hazy feeling from cryostasis slowly starts to wear off. You remember more about your pre-war knowledge and skills. You receive four bonus perk points to select what your pre-war skills were. At level 10 and every fifth level after, you'll receive four bonus perk points. So it's a little bit nerfed. It's, little, it's not as much as, well, no, it is still five per. Recommended tips. Use your field kit to access many features and options. Use your weapon kit to change ammo and other options. Kits can be added to your favorite keybinds. Okay. So we get some really awesome perks early on. Your field kit is located in your aid tab. It allows you to scrap junk, armor, and weapons, craft badges, craft simple devices, documentation menu, skills menu, companion menu, and options menu. Okay, so I don't have to do my companion menu purely from the, uh, the workbench back there. I can do it in the field, too. Whoa. My goodness. Goodness gracious. They call me Butcher Pete. So I like to slap, slap, slap that meat. Oh my. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get old, guys. Harvested, harvested. And is that oh one more, the glowing one. Hmm, glowing organ. Okay, hunting is leveling up uh, appreciably, decently. We did take some damage there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one or more of the first aid supplies. <clears throat> we'll see how many this uses. Supplying first aid. That required seven. My god. It does 70 per. Was I really that low on health? I guess I was. Yeah, I guess I was that low on health. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Alright, I think we're going to scrap everything here, guys. Um, You know... The whole waiting around for the scrap station thing, I know some people are going to be ups not upset, but they're going to be... You shouldn't use scrap all, oh my god, Wanderer! I did it. I did it. Sue me. The button's still here, that's all that's important, we still can open and close the door. Deal with it. Unless you want to see me tediously walk through every settlement and uh, look for every little bit of junk everywhere for hours, that's how we're rolling, okay? So, okay, we're good now. And let's take all the things. Okay, we're a little over encumbered. Just a little over encumbered. Just a tiny bit. This is like 16 pounds. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, these are... These are the primary perpetrators of my overweightness, and I don't really need the steel and wood right now, right? Like, it's not a big deal. Where is my... There we go. In the components uh, section here. Steel. Wood. Rubber. Everything else we can take back. Okay, cool. That works for me. We're not going to go any closer to conquer just yet. There are things I want to do uh, before we run into there, which is like getting some basic armor and stuff. Would be nice. In fact, um... We got the room. We'll do it on the way here. Hopefully dog meat can find the pathing to come over here. I 
Should be a couple of wild mongrels over here. Should be a chest as well. Up on that way. Got him. Okay, we're good. Next. At least I can look around while it's happening. I'm just afraid I'm going to hit spacebar to, like, jump or something, and I'll accidentally be hovering over that, and it'll, like, sheathe my weapon in the middle of combat, and then... You know what's going to happen, guys, and I'm going to be screwed. Um... Bloat, you know what? Bloat flies are kind of a pain in the ass. Got him. I hate using ammo, but for like bloat flies and stuff, but I mean they do reasonable damage and yeah, it's it's worth it to make sure you don't take any damage from them cuz it's really hard to dodge them when they're far away. That time I jumped and managed to get the harvest going. Okay. And normally by the way, there are some purified water over here by this thing, but uh interestingly Whenever you do the scrap all from all the way over there, um, you uh, you end up like getting those somehow. Even though you don't scrap anything else, somehow somehow it grabs those too, which is bizarre. But I mean, whatever. That's what's happening there. Notice I got some actual first aid supplies there. I'm I'm thinking that's probably going to be more of a trend. Like you're going to find. I think the idea with having the first aid supplies was to simplify the healing a bit and make it... Ooh, some five, five, six rounds. Uh, to make it a bit more reasonable um, early on, well, in general, to find healing supplies, right? And keep yourself healed. I guess I can go over here. Eh, I'm not going to talk to Abernathy just yet. I don't really care about him just yet. We're going to go up north and do... Um, that stuff. I do kind of want to get a better weapon, assuming the machete is still better, because currently the tire iron does like the same damage as the police baton, and I'm not sure if they've all been kind of normalized. We'll come back over here in a second, too, and clear this out. It's getting to be dark, too. But yeah, I just want to get a machete. kind of want to get the laser musket, too. It's going to be a nice early game weapon. Oh, this does have a... Okay, I couldn't tell before, but this does have, like, a frontal cone... Um... Proper, like, headlamp effect, which I like a lot better... Than the standard Pip-Boy. It's not very bright, though. Honestly, I can probably let... Don't think I can pick this. Okay, well, guess what? Guess what there, needy boy? You can pick it because you're level two, and we're going to go boom, boom. Now you can do up to expert locks. Just don't break your pins. You only got two. Yes. Okay. Circuitry is always good. Antique table knife. This sells for a lot, too. Right. I keep trying to loot... I'm going to be trying to loot the uh, junk items I'm not able to loot for a long time. I just, I, I won't remember. I see, I see loot, I must, I must loot loot, but I cannot loot loot. Because it's now, miss, like, junk that you don't need. I think that maybe that'll be expanded a bit in the future, but... I mean, running around picking up ashtrays was kind of dumb. Let's, let's be realistic. What is this? This is new. Operations site. This site is too dangerous to operate. Okay, this is new. There's There are operation sites now that you can claim around the wasteland, and uh, I don't think that 
in the patch notes that said exactly where they were, which is good. I don't I don't really want to know. I want to stumble upon them and find them myself as I explore. But that certainly is new. Okay, we can loot this more properly. Well, there are some safes I want to get. Yeah, I'm not getting very lucky with the, um... You know, I don't have a whole... I, you know, I, I came over here. I came over here to get the army helmet, and now we're in Conquered. So it goes. We're almost full. I just want to get the machete. Honestly. I want to see if the machete has good damage, or if it's, if it's been uh, nerfed to have, like, normalized damage. With other melee weapons. And that's going to be in the speakeasy. There's also a decent gun I can get over here. Yeah, right over here should be the speakeasy. That's the workhouse. Uh, we can go in here too. We'll check the safe in here real quick. I'm going to do probably a thorough sweep of Conquered off screen. Like I'll clear it out on screen. Ooh, the lighting in here is really nice. It's that time of day when the lighting coming in looks really immersive. I really want to take a screenshot, but I'll wait. I'll do it later. Yeah, we get a, we get a save in. I'll come back here later to do it. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, a talking teddy bear. That's the second one of those, I guess. What does this give us as far as junk goes? Oh, it gives us circuitries and energy cells and stuff? That's pretty badass, actually. Got it. Oh, still... This gives you energy cells now, too. I think that um, one of the, the big comments, one of the things that people disliked a lot was that it feels really difficult to play energy weapons early on in uh, Horizon. And I think that this patch tries to subtly address some of that by adding energy cells um, to a lot of things in the world that it would it might make sense to have energy cells in them right i can't that's a see i can't loot that guys i can't i can't take that we're not going out that way because that'll be right out in the middle of it but yeah i think that um part of the way that zawano is addressing that is by adding energy cells to some items in the world and you know it'll add up over time as you're looting stuff anyway you're gonna get energy cells and then you'll be able to craft some fusion cell ammo. Now, it's not going to be enough to, like, be swimming in fusion cells, but it should be enough to, like, keep you going. Okay, this, this load screen's a bit long still. There we go. Right, there are, like, two houses I want to loot... We're not going over there. Ooh. Just a random clean blood plaque. Okay. Blood plaque? Blood pack. There you go, Wanderer. Use your words. Let's go ahead and bind these. Okay. Field scrapping. Let's scrap some items. Uh, you can do one of these. I think we can do all of these. This is like the same as this, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be easier to craft stuff on because we're going to have science skill, which means we can craft the electrified version. Um, these are all like the same. Yeah, it's the same thing pretty much. I'm just going to... Well, this is worth a bit. I'll keep it, but... Oh, we actually got a, a radio torso. Wow, this is really bad. Only... 9 DR and 3 ER. That's pretty awful. Okay. So. Severe power armor nerfs, huh? Oh, God. Oh, dear God. That looks awful. Yes, attack him, blood... Or dog meat. Oh, God. 
Disgusting. They must have flown up from down below. Of all the bugs in Fallout 4, the blood bug is definitely the most disgusting. I hate their spindly long legs. Oh god, they're so nasty. And these are twitching. Okay, is there more down there? Are we good? What else is over here then? There's like a random event that spawns over here. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of corpses because they died from the blood bugs, huh? Okay, well that's free loot for us. Hey, a combat pistol. Hey, a leather, a treated leather cap and a basic backpack upper. That's awesome. Traveling leather coat, that might look really cool. I'm gonna see what that looks like. I'm just gonna take everything off this guy. Let me see. So, uh, farewell mining helmet. You were fun, but uh, this is really good. That's a lot of damage resist and energy resist and stuff. This is probably better than the uh, army helmet. I guess this has been buffed, huh? And this just looks cool, so we're going to use it. And this is going to be more carry weight. So, heck yeah, look at that. We're, oh god, the helmet looks really bad. We have to find a better looking helmet. For fashion's sake, we have to find a better looking helmet. But it's really good in terms of the damage it does. This is a camping backpack lower slash upper. Let's see how it looks. We good? Didn't get any scavenging steel from that. How does the upper lower... I can't really see. The lighting's not... Oh, um... You know, I think I'll just do the camping backpack. Oh, is that... Is that less weight? No, it's the same weight, right? right? It's, if I do... It's 155 regardless. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. And then we're going to scrap... We're going to scrap some stuff on this guy. I don't need both of these, so... They're like the same thing. This one's slightly better than... Yeah, we'll just do that. This does sell for 11... Uh, it's too weight. That's probably fine. Okay. Oh, I zoomed out somehow on accident. There we go. And scrap it all. Very good. They're still fighting over there. Go, Preston, go. I, oh, there's more over here. I got faith in you, Preston. Oh, these are just the settlers that are not here normally. I don't want their ladle. I'll take the scrap from it, though. I think things have been pretty normalized as far as loot goes, and I don't think that we'll find... Okay, so that first aid kit didn't have any first aid supplies in it. Maybe it's, it's, just, it's probably still kind of random, and finding first aid supplies themselves is going to be kind of rare. The light is just atrocious. I can't... I, like, it's really... already really dark. Yeah, we're just gonna let Preston take care of that over there. Right, so there's gonna be a raider up here, and, um... Is this scoped? Is this a scoped bolt action? It is very nice. Ooh, we even have some ammo for it. That's a nice find. It is deteriorated pretty badly, but, um, having a scoped weapon here that we can use. That's pretty sweet. 12 gauge shells. You have a, tw a double uh, barrel 12 gauge. It's all busted up though. So, oh, um, yeah, just, oh, I, I, actually I didn't, uh, I don't know. I didn't get to look at your gear. You might've had some armor. I think it was all ruined, but I didn't, I didn't actually mean to hit scrap there. Well, whatever. It'll be okay. Sweet. Preston's murdering an entire army of uh, raiders for us over there. Slowly. Slowly, but surely, he's killing them. So that's the main thing I wanted to get. And then the uh, machete, of course, which is going to be around the corner over here. Dog meat, don't you get into combat. We're not, we're not fighting those guys. That's a no-no. We're going to speakeasy to get our free stuff. Let's hope they don't follow us in here. 
Okay, we're not in combat. We're good. They didn't didn't really aggro onto us. Nice. Still no magazines. I'm getting a lot of safes, but no magazines. These are all trash items. This is going to be good. The trash gets, like, mass recycled into, like, random junk, I believe, is how that works. So, like, I can't pick up the cigarettes here or the ashtray. Clean army fatigues. Now we're over encumbered. We still haven't made use of dog meat yet, though, so that's fine. We'll have some room. This requires salvaging 40. It might be worth getting salvaging to 40 just to, to scrap the, um cigarette things because it'll give us more salvaging skill, right? Okay. Um, this is going to be worse. We can scrap this then. Uh, yeah, let's do... Let's just let's do junk scrapping first. Scrap all the junk, sure. Get a progress bar now, which is nice. But we still can't move. Okay, um... Let's do the field scrapping then. And yeah, this is five five six, but I mean I can I can put that into this if I need to, right? I can change the, the type. This we're gonna keep as well, it's nice. Uses the pistol uh shot set, and we have quite a few of those, so that's cool. Um, this is not that great. Probably gonna pass. Uh, I'm probably just gonna scrap this too. This is also very, very heavy, but it's like the only working piece I have, and I, I mean, I'm probably going to need it, so. The idea in Horizon is that you have to, oh, can't, can't we, um, scrap these in the field, too? Oh my god, they're, this is worth so much, though. I'm going to sell those, for sure. Can I scrap the, um, the pork and beans and stuff in there, too? This stuff scraps into, um, ground meat, I'm pretty sure, right? We'll see if it works. I don't know. Oh, someone's required to be being near a station. Okay, so maybe the beer we cannot do now, but later on we could if we're near a, um, a crafting station. Handful of shell casings. Thank you very much. Believe that's all in here. I just love that I can pick like every single lock now. It's so great. Like early game. That nice. frustrated the heck out of me that I had to leave stuff behind because I couldn't get in there. The new icons, too. Man, that sunglasses icon, that looks great. Oh, I love it. Ooh, this is a good pipe rifle, not degraded in the least bit. That's awesome. And some armor, too. Fantastic. Box of blankets. What does a box of blankets? It's packing material. Okay. I'm just curious what would be in that. In a pretty bad pistol here and some 10 mil rounds. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess um, we're going to scrap everything except all of our weapons that are of that um, make or whatever. Yeah, like we're just, we don't want the bayonet on this. It reduces range for whatever reason. It's absolutely stupid that it does, but it does for some reason. So we can get rid of that. And that was, yeah, it's kind of heavy. Uh, we're still overweight though. Right, got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so we can wear this. This is quite nice. Sunglasses sell for a good bit, too. Um, 
Okay, I can just give some stuff to dog meat, it's fine. Hey. It's what you're here for to carry our burdens, buddy. Oh, I had two of these. Well, whatever. Well, it is three weight. Oh, I'll scrap it eventually. Yeah, you're going to carry some of this stuff, buddy. Thanks a bunch. Strap that torso to your back, and then, yeah, now we can move again. Cool. So the main reason I'm here... Well, I mean, to loot, I'm here to loot everything, but the main reason we are here... is for... the machetes over here. Nope, give me the machete. Okay, we've got it. Just barely. Oh, boy. Yeah, there was a big party happening over here. Skulls in, uh... You guys covering anything? Yeah, I thought there was a, a day tripper down here as well. One in the sink and one down there. There was a big crazy party happening here, but yeah, there's some XL and other good stuff here. Gwinnett Stout. So the, the regular beer can be scrapped into alcohol, but everything else seems like it's worth quite a bit in cap value. Now, in Desolation Mode, which I'm playing on, it does get reduced severely. But still, I think it's worth quite a bit. Anything that has like a 10 times value ratio or higher, like if it's one pound and it weighs 10 caps, I think I ought to be selling... Unless, of course, we absolutely need to have it. Okay, the machetes are either one... They're both good, and they're better. They're just straight up better than my baton. Okay, that's fine. Then we are... We're a machete man now. We're a machete man. Just call us Machete Dan. Okay, yeah, these we can scrap to at, at uh, salvaging 40. I might consider doing an early point just so I can get those. It's going to depend on how many... Um, how many simple tools we have laying around too, right? Because those are kind of... They're not rare, but I mean, they're kind of difficult to come by. And I don't necessarily... Because there are so many vehicles, I don't necessarily want to use all my, my common tools on uh, the lower tier salvaging, like, cigarette machines and stuff when I could do it on cars. Because vehicle scrap is the creme de la creme of salvaging stuff in the field, right? It's way better. Okay. It's real dark out here right now, and, um... I'm not very confident in my ability to shoot anybody. Let's get this stuff... Okay, this is one. We'll put this on to three. This can be two, that's fine. Or actually, we'll do this three. This... Four. Okay. If I can take him out with ease... I will. Okay, there's one. There's two more over there, I think. Oh, they're fighting. Who are they fighting? Junkyard dog. Junkyard dog's kicking butt. Okay. Get him, junkyard dog. Oh, no junkyard dog. Oh, that guy's unloading on him. I think I think he's just down. Preston, do something. You got disappearing act. Huh? Thought you could hide. There we go. There they are. Hey, we did it. Hey, up here. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Hey, dog meat, that's mine. Give me that back, you dummy. 
<laughs> Give me back my laser musket. You damn grabby dog. Okay. Hunting... Oh, this is, um... Ranger duster, leather mask, road goggles. None of this stuff is... really good. It's not an actual hunting rifle, it's just like a cosmetic thing. You can have like a upper backpack hunting rifle type thing. It, it looks like a hunting rifle. If that makes sense. Okay, um, dog hey. meaty. Dog meat. Come here. Over here. Why do you always walk away from me whenever I want to trade you stuff? Do you, do you know that I'm trying to give you stuff? You're trying to run away? Probably you do. You can scrap one of these then. Should be wearing that and I'm not because I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, okay, let's just give him a bunch of junk then, yes? That'll do. That will do for now. Okay, and we have a couple corpses here. What did we get? Ooh, a custom... Well, it's ruined, though. Okay. Wonder if... Do I get ammo from these if I don't pick them up? Versus if I do. I'm paranoid as hell about that now. But I don't really want these weapons. I'm going to scrap some of these things, some of the extras I don't need by putting them on this guy and just scrap them that way. Machete. Uh, that we don't need. Well, is it worth... Nah, it's not worth it. Uh, this is ruined. Doesn't have any good parts on it. Combat pistol is ruined too. We already have one as well, so that's fine. These can all be scrapped, I think. And that will... That will do. Okay. There's one. Yeah, it's so dark with uh, this weather mod plus my ENB. I don't know if I am going to like that. Okay. I'm not... I don't know. I, I think Horizon would be smart enough to not screw you over in that way, but I'm also just paranoid as hell. So... Because it's Fallout, after all. Is this... Oh, it, it's over here. Got it. I was like, what the hell is this? I don't know what part of you that is, but okay. Uh, fusion cells we want. Hood with visor, nah. The bandana is worth... Well, I mean, it's only worth one, I guess. That's not really a big deal. Uh, crude laser pistol. I'm going to pick it up and then put it back on. These are both ruined. I don't think I care too much about them. Um, okay. Because I won't be using this, so I'll be using the other one. Even though it looks cool, I'm going to be using the uh, laser musket we just got. Okay. Should be one more around here. I can't see a damn thing, though. The, the nights are quite dark in uh, with the Horizon Weather mod on, and I, I might uh, turn it off. Even though I like the Weather mod, I might turn it off purely because of that. So is this... Well, it won't be clear in a second, though, because we're going to have raiders here, right? So I'm not going to use the operations site just yet. There was, like, one more around here. I need the, um... The goggles. Oh, there we go. Let's see. All this stuff is ruined. Not really any good. Yeah, we just scrap all this stuff. We're gonna head back, then. Okay. That's gonna be good for day one. In fact, that's really good progress for day one. Actually, I lied. There's a couple of things I can loot on the way back here. Out of my way, dog meat. Um, there are some containers over here that I'd like to check. I apologize for it being so dark. We'll be back and uh, 
in Sanctuary and resting for the night in a bit here. Yeah, over here. Caps. Uh, okay. Probably just scrap it later on. Um, looks like the, um... There's normally some adhesive here. It looks like it's just gone now. Did, did Zawano just remove that? Like, was it was it overpowered to have some free adhesive here? I guess so. I know that one of his goals is to kind of make it so that... Sweet. Hey, it's my survival guide. Did you guys know I wrote this? I'm just kidding. I don't think it's really related to me. It might be. It might be a nod to me. Zawano is a friend, but I don't, I don't think he would uh, play favorites like that. But I thought it was pretty cool, regardless. Oh, there is a guy here that we didn't see. He probably got shot by Preston earlier on. The jacket was actually kind of cool. I, uh, maybe I should have gone with that. Well, whatever, it's fine. Nate's not a leather jacket kind of guy, you know? He likes his t-shirt and jeans. Leather tends to, sh to chafe. So there's a whole bunch of these posted around. I guess it's because he doesn't want you to miss them easily. Oh, there's going to be blood bugs over here, too. And uh, I don't, I don't think I really want to deal with them. Let's go around. I'll deal with them in the morning whenever I can see properly. It's so flipping dark, which I like from an immersion standpoint. Don't get me wrong, I like the darkness from an immersion standpoint. But I know how much you guys dislike not being able to see. So I will probably turn off the weather mod, even though I enjoy it. Um, if Zawano sees this, I'll probably just mention it to him. If Zawano ever sees this, um, a lighter nights version of a brighter nights version of the mod would be fantastic for people like myself, or you know, just people who just don't like the really dark nights. Um, some people just don't, you know. Some people would rather not be immersed in that way. They'd rather just have nights where they can see. To me, this is totally acceptable, but. I know it's not great for videos. There is a statue, yeah, over here with the bag that I want to get before we head in. That should be everything I'll do today. It's gone. No, it's not. I'm just dumb. Okay, it's empty though. Wrong on both accounts. LOL. Okay, there's an army helmet I want to get over there, too, and I want to see if it's, like, treated, if it's good. I think all the helmets now do not provide protection unless they're treated, but maybe, like, army helmets have some inbuilt protection with them? I don't know. Dog meat. Come back, dog meat. I need you to come over here. Hey, move here. Don't go running off. I need you to trade me your stuff. Give me your things. Thank you. And now we gotta make our way in. That railing is not up to OSHA standards. I could walk right through it, but you know, they're not around anymore to tell us what to do. Okay, this we can scrap. We can move again. So let's go ahead and, uh, right, so I can, I can just change this to be the ammo type that I want. Yeah, I can just change it to be API if I want to. Or, uh, 556, five, five, not, uh, APX. Or I guess it's APX now. Ammo pulverizing rounds. These rounds can destroy large amounts of armor per hit. Cool. Interesting. We don't have any of those, but that's interesting. Scope mode basic. Oh, so I can change the scope here. So if I put a scope on it, Improved reflex sight. Does this mean I can't? T is this like a re a good reflex sight? And here's a modular scope. Variable zoom based on modules. That's rather cool. It only requires ten gunsmithing too. That's pretty freaking neato. I'm not gonna lie. So, and this uses a thirty. Uh, WP rounds, which is kind of like a uh, 20 long rifle round, is what my understanding was. It's similar to that in terms of power. Interesting, interesting. So, improved reflex sight. Is this a big range boost? It doesn't change the range at all. Okay. If I remove the bayonet, it does give us more range. That's fine. A screwdriver bayonet, lol. I mean, it does more damage. 
a crude suppressor, gunsmithing, and stealth, too. Hmm. 10% reduced recoil, minus 10 stability. This could be worth it. It's not going to suppress the sound a whole bunch. But it's, you know, it's enough to, like, get us by in the beginning. But let's do no muzzle for now. This has a snared stock, tire iron stock, uh, same thing. It just looks different. I like the look of it, though. It looks cool. I can't make any of these just yet. And then we can change our type of... So we change our type of receiver... Oops. Change our type of receiver... Um... Right here. Which gives us our bonus. So this is like minus 20% VATS cost. Uh, this is better rate of fire and 10% VATS cost reduction. This is critical hit damage, and this is, uh, better damage. And let's be honest, everyone's gonna go with heavier, heavy frame receiver, probably. Uh, well, at least I am, because more damage is just king in the beginning. And these all add... more active damage, so it's gonna be like, um... plus three... to each, so it's gonna actually do pretty decent damage if I get all the upgrades here, right? But it's going to require, like, very late game to get all of them. All of them. So, okay, that's that's cool. Um, this thing... Need pretty high gunsmithing levels to get this to decent shape, so I probably won't be doing that anytime soon. This thing, same thing. At least it's usable, though, you know? It does good damage as it is, though, but I'm going to hopefully find some better stuff next episode, but, you know, it's not bad. I cannot change this from the four times default. I could make this just to make it look cooler, I guess, but I won't do that. Um, okay. Could also change this to be 308 ammo. I don't know if I have any of that. Do I have any? Th I do have 10 308 ammo. Okay. I can probably do that in the field. Does a lot more damage, I'm assuming. Yeah, a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Okay. Laser muskets. This comes with a good reflex sight on it now, which is... It makes me so much happier. It makes this thing so much more usable in the beginning. It has great range, has reasonable damage. This doesn't matter at all, it just looks different. I could put a scope on it too, though, but I don't think I really care that much. What would it require... ...to make this uh, a bit better, like good condition? 80 science, that's gonna be beyond our reach for a while, but it is a lot more damage. But yeah, I don't think we can do that for a while. I don't think we can get to 80 science for quite a bit. What about a receiver upgrade? 50? Or... Okay, these are all just, like... 40 science is not bad for this. Plus 6 damage. Only requires 4 energy weapon parts. It's not bad. You'll probably swing that. Okay, I'm gonna look at some of this stuff more off-screen, guys. I'm sorry for, like, rambling for a whole long time here, but... Yeah, I'll look at this stuff some more. We'll get some sleep, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.